Hey, this is MonkeyMonk78, and today I'm going to be starting my Assassin's Creed 3 single-player walkthrough slash let's play, I guess. Now more of a walkthrough. So I'm going to go start a new game, and I'll call this Monkey of Monk 78 Confirm. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up. Or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning, with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon though, soon we'll know. That ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be. When it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Opening scene. So once again, just like my StarCraft 2 campaign, I'm gonna let you guys watch all the cutscenes, just so you get the full gaming experience. Let's go. Okay, so, yeah, I'm guessing WASD to walk. Okay. I've never played one to our Revelations, but I heard that this game is uh, really great, and I got it for free when I bought the graphics card, so why not? I might do multiplayer later on when I'm done with this, but we'll have to see. I don't know what it's about. Do I walk forward? Yeah.
another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Okay, oh, well, this is dark. What just happened? Oh. So whenever a cutscene comes, I always shut off my microphone so I don't make any accidental noise, but it always makes this little popping sound whenever I shut it off, so... I don't know if I'm going to be doing that anymore. Do I walk forward? Do they wait for me in this game? Yes, yeah, is odd. Oh, because I have the little ball thing, whatever it is. I think we're here. Whoa. Did not expect that to happen. I th guess I lost that. Uh, these are stairs, I think, yeah. So I think we're looking for someone or something. Oh, the good, they're sprinting. No clue what just happened. Hear us? Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. Damn, let's detail this the the bleeding effect. It's really good. She... Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. That's a cool tutorial. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. Yeah, this is a very cool tutorial. Yeah, my friend said that this game is very slow to start off with. 
and then the, it takes a little while to get into the story, but then after that, it gets really, really good. Gotta jump, and there we go. Rerun your way through this little obstacle course. Damn, this guy's really good at parkour. Okay, good. That was supposed to happen. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise Whoops. your synchronization rate. I have no clue what she's saying about constraints. All right, Desmond. Follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Well, that's really easy. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Oh, whoops. That doesn't help. Wait, I just did that. Oh. How does this guy learn how to do all this stuff? Probably from the first three games that I've never played before. Oh, this is crazy. Okay. Now I'm up here. Go down there. Yeah, this is a pretty cool tutorial. I'm guessing this is the tutorial. Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Oh, I got an achievement. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Escape is to view progress. A uh, refresher course. 100% done. Okay. Assassinate the target at the Royal Opera House. And that's my only other mission. Oh, this is... I, I think they're building, like, this place. And we have to... Travel through it and find something out. Is there no place... Oh, I can't run. Oh, probably because uh. it's building this. Everything all right, sir? Yes, fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? In front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Damn, this game's pretty crazy, like, with all this detail and these graphics. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? How do I view email? Ladies and okay. Memory. Okay, where am I going? Few. Oh, these are okay. No, okay. Never mind. Gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Oh, there is a fast walk, I think. Good evening, sir. This way, please. It just said press escape. Okay, never mind. My apologies. Yeah, it's really fat. How do I just think go around to the other side instead of moving through all those people? Random loading screen. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? And the statesman, because he's so great, thinks he 
Yep, there it is. He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. We'll need to find another way up. I already have. So, Black Mall has sick word of trial comes on in the afternoon. And she hopes you will order matters so as to bring her off. Okay, now he has to go Ireland's face again. My apologies. <laughs> he just like turned into parkour mode. How does someone not see him? This is so obvious. Let's turn to a pretty cool game. Yeah. These people are really screwed up. Whoa. What's going on over here? Okay, going over here. Jump over there. Go, jump. And he's not jumping. I don't know why. There we go. So I think we have to go assassinate someone. I'm guessing that's why it's called Assassin's Creed. Just taking a wild guess. Yeah, it's kind of obvious what this guy's doing. Whoa. Camera spaz. Pick the lock. Do, do I actually get to do this? Move the mouse left and right to locate and hold it. I really have no clue what I just did there. I really have no clue how to do this. I'm running out of mouse pad space. Oh, up and down. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't want to skip this. It ruins the story. On the way across the stage. Well, that should be easy. Nope. I don't think I should do that. Oh, that could have been bad. These people are cr this guy's crazy. Go, jump. There we go. And makes him risk another without fear or scruple. Do I go up here? No, I go up here. It is a pleasure to be the messenger of comfort. This is like really cool parkour. How do they not notice this guy? Call the cops or something. Do I want to go down? No, I want to go up. Can I jump backwards? No. Let me see how much to stop those to with Oh, I have to go over there. Okay. Jump. Five gold watches. And seven silver ones. A mighty clean dandered fellow. Six. Oh, I think I'm gonna go kill this guy. should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth? I'm sorry. As am I.
little kid looks so scared. Why won't he walk fast? Everyone's going crazy. Oh, so he does walk faster, but it's like real fast. I thought they didn't want him to walk fast because then he'll look suspicious. He looks so guilty right now. He's the only one that's calm. Oh, that little boy. He's gonna be... Uh, he's gonna be the end of this guy's life. No, oh, he's not gonna tell. Is he gonna tell? No. Well, if he did, then the game just ends. I don't care, I got it for free. What's the world doing outside? And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To fleet and bride. By your command. He killed him for that? Doesn't look important. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge, perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is. Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command, although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, we'll want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. Well, I'll call that an episode. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.